today's video guys, we are at Evershoe Circuit for Drift Matsuri and it has not been this busy in the last two years due to the pandemic, but state of emergencies are over, the pandemic's completely winding down here in Japan, international tourism is supposed to be opening up the end of this year, early start of next year, but because it's also the last time we're able to drive Minami as we know it now, this Maturi is packed. Literally every track I went to this morning, every pit was taken. School course is still closed. They weren't able to get the renovations done in time, but we're pitted here because these are the only pits we could find. So it's packed. I'm excited. Everyone's hyped. A lot of awesome friends are coming to drive with. So let's just get out there and shred. Some people won't. What's up, Russians? Unfortunately, someone decided to window their SR on North Course, so that's gone for the next couple hours where they do a massive cleanup. Guys, if your engine's knocking, pull off the track, please. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we're here in Nishi. We're gonna have some fun. Um, it's kind of an FD layout, so it's a little bit of a long, fast entry. Should be good. Once we got a multimeter and checked the terminals on the battery, it was clear as getting 14 volts and charging fine, but the ECU was reading low voltage here. So I knew there was something going on. And how the Link ECUs work, I actually really like this, but it draws from other 12 volt sources to keep the car alive. Not the greatest thing for long term, but I, that it was able to pinpoint to me, okay, a fuse is blown somewhere. And fair enough, it was literally just the EFI fuse. Put a new one in there and we're good. Now I'm gonna monitor and work out like why did that blow in the first place? Um, so I'm just gonna make sure we're not gonna have any more issues with that and keep checking the fuse We've got a couple spare, um, but if it keeps blowing then we know we've got a short to ground or something like that happening So hopefully it's just a simple bad old fuse that popped um, And if that's the case then we can shred I think it popped because of the battery terminal was loose and it was like constantly touching and stuff And I think that's when the fuse popped <laughs> We're at Nishi course. It's time for some Nishi trains. We're gonna get out there, have some fun, do some tandems. Should be a good time. Fingers crossed. No, no, no crashing. Um, just good times. Also, I did some things to the ECU. We make bangs and pops now on diesel. It's good. It's tight. All right, let's get out there and shred.
what it is about today, but every track I have come to, something's gone wrong. So I just got to North Course, did a bit of driving, taking my friend Kimberly out for some drives. And there's oil the full width of the track the full way around. We don't know whose car was dumping it out, maybe this S15 over here, but it's all engine oil. So um, probably North Course is gonna be closed for two hours while they clean the whole track. Like that is the full width of this thing is covered. Like trails everywhere. And it's not like a little trail, it's just spread everywhere. So big old yikes. Um, but yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do now. We need to go back to the hotel, chill, get dinner, maybe go uh, enjoy the onsen for a bit and then come back and do some night driving. I think that's the game plan now. of Drift Matsuri and uh, unfortunately the whole of day one we had mic problems. Uh, Max's camera, the audio jack port for the mic has actually like ripped off the PCB. We didn't know that that had happened until it was too late and we were editing last night. So unfortunately a lot of the clips are just completely useless. Some are just total static, muted, no audio at all. And we're hoping we can salvage some clips with just a little bit of like, you know, crackles and pops. So I do apologize for that. Um, we're not running any shotgun mic right now, so the audio is gonna be very different as well. Um, but yeah, these things happen from time to time. It's just what happens when you're in this business. I'm sorry, but uh, we're here for day two. We're gonna go harder than ever and hopefully we won't have any more issues like that and uh, we can get things fixed and sorted out before we do another shoot. But anyways, let's go shred.
I guess, on Toge today. I think I'm going to take a break. It's just too sketchy. I love Toge course, but this is also why I hate Toge course. These were brand new and just from probably like what, 10 laps maybe? Maybe less? The tires are almost destroyed. Now we're gonna rotate these and then go to north course and use what's left of them. But uh, I am feeling a little bit parched, so need a, need a drink of water. <sighs> Thanks Linus. Just got to north course, we're gonna finish off those tires. up there hopefully get some cool toge shots and uh, we'll have the GoPro running but fingers crossed uh, Rohab literally was like I want you to chase me as close as you can and he then was like I've never driven toge before so this is gonna be interesting first lap out let's go Okay, 
But if a, he had a roll cage, that would have been a much better scenario for sure. But man, just like look at this. One of the many reasons why Minami is going away. Because the amount of speed that you need to do great risk and that's what happens. So I'm just glad the dude was okay. That looks so gnarly. And then there's another car there, uh, a Mark II. A lot of cars just died today. So many crashes on Minami. That's why I've been avoiding it. Every time I've come to Minami, there's been a crash and the track's been closed and they've been having to forklift cars off and stuff. So we're gonna go out there, probably spend about 30 minutes. I wish I had more time, but I wanna to go to Nishi and jump in the train. So we've got one more last event to come and drive Minami with, which is an event run by Daigo Saito. So we're gonna hopefully make that. But yeah, let's just get out there and have some fun.
then, um, wait, really? Chaser? Yeah. The Reed doesn't look like a Chaser. Now you need Chaser. Really? But what you need? Oh, okay, well that makes sense. <laughs> so anyways, he was in the black JZX. Rob was in his SUD. And I couldn't keep up with him. I had two, three, five, um, just really cheap, like $50 tires from um, Ling Long. They're just like really, really good for Minami because of lack of grip. And I'm only probably pushing like 300 horsepower on the chase up. <laughs> this guy like pushes like what, 450 in yours? 450 is your yeah. bar. He's pushing. Maybe, maybe the same? Yeah. But he's also got Valino Zero AC. He's like, he got the top? Yeah, 265. So entirely different. And I was trying to keep up with these guys. So much fun. This guy smacked the wall. No, nothing happened. It's just like you. Yeah, you see. No. <laughs> to rip the e brake and keep it going all the way around. I just saw that, that wall and I thought, nope, that's not yeah. happening today, not today. I so just lucky. It around. This is the best case scenario if you hit the wall of Minami. You guys know I did the same thing with my chaser. If you don't keep bring the drift back in and keep it going, you're dead. Like, you're in that wall really bad, so. Anyways, someone lost their front tire behind me. Um, I don't know if we had a GoPro on the back, but literally his front wheel just went off. Let's go to Nishi. Yeah, we need to. We're gonna go do some tandems in Nishi. I need to put some two six fives on so I got some grip. And then we'll do that. I'll drive Minami more. I'll come up here before it's gone. But that was epic. Biggest jumps I've ever done for sure. Thanks, Rohan. I'll All meet right, you, Nishi. Yeah. I'll make the other side look the same for you.
good. The lightest little kiss. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Let's get back oh, out there. They're still letting us drive. What happened? It's not running. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Dude, damn it. They just did the flag. They gave us like an extra what? five, seven minutes because of the other crashes. But come look at the damage from that. Like my headlight, that's all that I destroyed was the headlight. Check this out. I just pushed in this corner and ripped off his intercooler piping. That's it. Like, was that already like that too? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, this was like yeah, this. On my car, <laughs> dude, I couldn't swing fast enough with you. Oh man. But right, all I took out was the, the headlight oh, and the that corner that lamp. That's it. Oh, yeah, I didn't even did it. That was, I was waiting for you to put a timer on the door. I was like, oh, I, I'm man, pretty man. sure I did. Like, I was tapping you, man. I need to look at my rim because I was definitely tapping you. Dude, the best ending to Maturi. The best ending. Every time I've done tandems, initially it's ended in a pretty decent crash. For it to just be a little kiss like that and the most insane, like, that was some fight tandem. I'm just glad the freaking GoPro was on for that. Actually, let me check. So, all before that, I missed it. So that's an end for Maturi 2021 autumn. And I have to say, out of all the Maturis for the last two years, this felt like it used to be. Um, you know, obviously, the pandemic's winding down, all the state of emergencies are over, and, well, lots of people were here, more than usual, so it just felt really, really good. Got a lot of driving in. I didn't crash, like, super bad or anything. We had that little kiss at the end there, but that was it. I mean, the, the only crappy thing that happened were GoPros not being turned on, audio problems, and that's that. So, if they're the only problems we're having for a Maturi, I'm happy with that. This is how today was, like, well, this is how Maturi, in my mind, was gonna end. Me and Walter are gonna end up doing this at some point, except maybe a little bit more in to each other. But, you know what? We still had fun. Walter ended up fixing his car by the end of it. We got some sick tandems, which you won't see because I didn't have the GoPro running, but you'll probably get an outside shot or so. But yeah, that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash that like button, rise a comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.